Two years ago, we tested for Megalodon and it was through the roof, like it was sky high. But we could not get the exhibit until now. It was fully booked, so we booked it two years ago in order to bring it here and it's the first time that it's in Canada. The decision to bring Megalodon is one where, like a dinosaur exhibit, it's a paleontology exhibit. It's about an ancient, gigantic, ferocious predator that captures everyone's in imagination. And it's got so much content to it that it was a, it was a clear winner for us. And the Megalodon, of course, is the largest uh, shark that ever lived in the sea, getting more than 60 feet in length. It's gone now. It's been missing for, in action for two million years, but it had a good, 15 million year reign is the top predator on earth eating things such as whales and, and, and uh, manatees and things like that. And, and part of the story here is the evolution of sharks uh, and how even a great animal like that, which was obviously very well equipped, uh, has its own Achilles heels and disappeared. My theory, and it's just a theory, uh, is that it uh, ate itself out of existence uh, because it needed large prey items. Uh, one of the parts of the exhibit is how much food did it require to live, which is more than a ton of food a day. Uh, well, it's hard to find a ton of food a day in big chunks. And so if there weren't enough whales and there weren't enough manatees around, this animal would have run out of fuel. And so I suspect it just simply got to the stage where it couldn't find enough to eat to maintain its large size and that was its, uh, its downfall. Although shark attack is, is something we worry about with, with uh, sharks, the fact is only six people die a year in the mouth of a shark. Meanwhile, we're killing more than 100 million sharks and rays a year. So you got a ratio of 100 million to six, which is more than, 100, uh, more than uh, 10 million to one. And so uh, it's pretty obvious who's the attacker and who's the attackee. You know, I have to admit that my perception of sharks and shark conservation and how important sharks are in our current ecosystem is way higher than I ever thought. It's a really important thing to take away. So Megalodon became extinct two million years ago, had nothing to do with people. But what's happening right now with sharks is related to people and we can change it. So I think there's lots of great messages in this exhibit.